in a New Jersey restaurant is being honored for its deep-fried franks. We sent Audrey Puente to Clifton to taste what's being dubbed as the best hot dog in the country. Today is National Hot Dog Day, and it's standing room only at Rutt's Hut in Clifton, New Jersey, a favorite holiday of server Bill Chrysophenus. Every day should be National Hot Dog Day. Bill says that people come from near and far to have Rutt Hut's famous ripper. It's a deep-fried hot dog, served plain, homemade relish and mustard on the counter. However, Rutt Hut is known for more than its hot dogs. Been here 89 years. Homemade relish, you can only get it here. It separates us from every hot dog joint in the world. According to the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, Americans will eat 7 billion hot dogs between Memorial Day weekend and Labor Day. That's 818 hot dogs per second. They're easy, and they remind me of summer. You just throw them on the grill or deep fry them, and they're ready to go. And folks have their favorite ways to order them up. I usually take it with the mustard and ketchup. My favorite preference for hot dog is uh, chili and sauerkraut. A little relish and mustard and ketchup. According to the Nielsen Company, New York comes in second after Los Angeles on the 2016 list of top hot dog consuming cities. As simple as the hot dog may seem for a meal, there are some etiquette rules to follow. Condiments should be applied in the following order. Wet condiments like mustard are first followed by chunky condiments like relish. Hot dogs should always be served on a paper plate. China is a no-no. Paper napkins are also a must. Save the linen ones for Thanksgiving. And it should take five bites to finish a hot dog, although Bill thinks otherwise. It depends how hungry you are. Two or three? Some guys eat it in one. From Clifton, New Jersey, Audrey Puente, Fox 5 News. There are some good, good hot dogs. All right. That's All right. our news for tonight. <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah.